me, your friendly neighborhood humble stroke assaulter. So, Joy Bradford, um, sorry, just on my phone to look here to talk to you. So, Joy Bradford, you wanted to see a little bit of video of my kind of return to work ishness. So, let's talk about that. Oh, he's back. Um, I crazy glued his beak shut, so you shouldn't get much. No, I didn't. No, I didn't really want thought about it. Um, it was gorilla glue, not crazy glue. Um, so, anyways, moving on. So let's talk about my journey thus far. So I've done five shifts. Today was my fifth shift. Um, I worked last Monday, had Tuesday off because of the new year. Um, then I had uh, worked the rest of the week. So I've worked five three-hour shifts thus far. So few stumbles. Um, my anxiety level goes through through the roof. Um, before I head to work, mainly because that's the building I almost died in. I had my stroke at work. Um, so everybody at work got to see me stroke out. Yay. Um, I um, had to take some anti-anxiety medication while at work because I've gotten very, very anxious. Um, Part of that's because I'm self-conscious about me, right? Um, part of that is, um, and if you look at the video I did on self-conscious after stroke, hey, hey, are you okay there? I told you no scotch. What did I tell you? No scotch before we film, okay? You promised. We contracted that you wouldn't drink. Moving on. So, um, um, so I get very self-conscious about how I present. Um, my walking, my speech, the sunglasses, um, things such as that. It, it, it's I'm very conscious of it because it, it's not me before the stroke. So one way I try to relate it to people is, so I had my stroke on the 21st of June. Right? Well, for me, today is like the 1st of July. For everybody else, it's the whatever day in January it is. So for everyone at work, your work life, your professional life, it continued on for 180 days. Mine, as far as I'm concerned mentally, I'm on like July 1st, right? So I'm I'm still trying to figure out all of that yumminess. So it's 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 difficult. My my communication deficits, my aphasia, my apraxia, my anomia are all accelerated by my anxiety. Um, and I can start to stutter or have the, the ability to form words at times or not even think of a word, like I'm trying to think of a word, um, and it works. I've forgotten people's names, and not just a few people, and not just on one day, and they're not people I've really never met before. Apparently the glue didn't work. Um, you know, people I've known for two years, people that I've worked with, um, people that I'm friends with outside of work, um, you know, I like, what's your name? Like, uh, it's been a, a going start of a conversation. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm going to be honest. I don't know your name. I can't remember your name. And it's, it's a thing. And, 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 and I'm now self-conscious because, um, I can't remember your name with one exception, just one exception. People at work have been decent about it. Um, and that one exception, but he was like, what do you know I me? Mean? Like, I don't know your name, but you should, but I don't. What do you mean? I'm like, if you keep telling me, you know, you can't remember my name, I already know I can't remember your, your name, I'm going to tell you to fuck off, right? It's not me not wanting to not know your name, and it's not me being a dick. It's I legitimately don't remember your name, right? Um, and it's, it's a thing. There's not much I can do about that. Um... I get very fatigued uh, very, very quickly uh, when I get at work. Um, the ambient noise, it's, and the best way to describe it to the normies, and when I mean normies, that's you non-stroke folk. There's the one Superman movie where it's Superman as a boy and he's in the closet at school and he can't filter out the world. Like he hears, sees everything and he can't focus. That's kind of where I'm at. Right? Like with the ambient noise, I can't filter out. I hear everything and the brain is still trying to figure out how to 
compartmentalize all of that silliness, right? It's still trying to figure out um, what's going on, right? It's still trying to figure out how to how to relate all of that, right? It's still trying to figure out how to how to categorize it all, right? How to make it all make sense. Um, so that <clears throat> that's a thing. Um, unfortunately, I have to work around computer screens a lot, so that can be a bit a bit um, taxing. <clears throat> Emotionally, I'm a bit of a wreck. I'll be honest. It's, it's I'll get home from work, and I should have. Uh, when Harry Met Sally prepped up on my DVD player and Rocky Road, if not pistachio ice cream on tap. Um, and then I, I usually have a good cry when I get home. I'm very, it's a lot of emotional fluctuation right now. It's just, I, um, I get to, I get, I get home from work and I'm, I'm just, just, I'm spent. Absolutely just completely, totally spent just just the best word I, i'm on my chin strap um you know i I'm, I'm doing everything i can to to get through the experience um, i'm doing everything i can to try to to make the experience the best i can um i'm not leaving work even though i'm tired i'm not leaving work even though i know i'm overwhelmed i'm not leaving work even though i know maybe probably i should um i'm stubborn I'm determined, and I'm gonna make 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 this work. <sighs> just, it's difficult. Um, I've been journaling. Um, I'm trying because I used to work in mental health uh, many years ago, and I, I, I'm trying to be very cognizant of what situations kind of spin me off, and 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 when I notice I'm getting overwhelmed. Uh, when I notice I'm getting to the point where I need to take like a noise break because I'll go into one of the offices which is fairly quiet and I'll, I'll take that noise break I'm like hey dude I just, I just get, off, get a piece out for like seven minutes and then, it, then after seven minutes I'll do a quick bit of journaling it's a quieter room uh, try to compose my thoughts um, so that way I can can have a benchmark of kind of where I'm at what I'm doing how that's working out for me or not because the last thing I want to do is jeopardize anything about me. I don't want to jeopardize me. Right? I don't want to jeopardize anything, you know, about my return to work or jeopardize anything to do with, um, you know, how I'm going to perform. Well, I'm not on a full-time schedule yet, right? So then that's that's a thing. I won't be on a full-time schedule till the end of February. If memory serves, yeah, end of February. Um, so therein lies the thing. I have between, I have roughly eight weeks ish um, to get my shit together till I'm back on a full time schedule, or I got to make a decision that that's not going to happen. Like there's a decision tree in place where I'm going to have to determine if I'm even fit for full time service at work. Like can I can I motor through doing that as a full time deal, right? So I honestly don't know if that's even even a reality. I'll just be honest about that. I, I, I don't know. Um, and it's not that's not to say I don't want to be on a full-time line serial, because definitely I want to be back full-time. Um, however, I just don't know if that's even remotely going to be able to be a thing, right? Because right now, three hours, and I'm, I'm spent. I'll be honest. I'm just cooked. Between the ambient noise, um, uh, between the ambient noise, between um, you know other things going on around. I'm sorry, the uh, the bird likes to chew on things. He thinks he's being helpful. Um, so there's a lot of things going on there, right? Most of it outside of my control. Well, all I can control is is how I try to interact and react with around and to it and, and and looking for the best way to improvise overcome adapt and persevere and i appreciate that there are possibilities where there are certain situations or scenarios where i can't make them better like so far my work for the exception of a couple issues um uh which are 
not really relevant for this purpose of discussion. Um, like, they've been very accommodating. Um, you know, I've asked them for a special noise cancelling headset. They said they can sort that out without a doctor's note. Um, you know, um, had a conversation with uh, one of the people that work about uh, the new medication I'm on and, and how that may impact me, and, and they're, they're kosher with that. Um, you know, it's very, very difficult. Um, honestly, the biggest problem I have um, is a bit of the social isolation. So I haven't been at work for six months, so I don't really know what's going on at work. Um, and, 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 and I don't mean the, the gossip, you know, who's sleeping with who and, you know, who's got beef with who and what well, I, that I don't, I've never given a care about that stupidity. What I mean is like what's going on actually at work, like what training campaigns are ongoing and, and, you know, the direction of the various lines of business at work and <clears throat> all that other silliness, uh, which I was pretty involved with being a trainer. Um, not only an agent, but, but a trainer, um, th things I can't remember. Right. Um, you know, like I know certain things have happened historically for me at work in the past, like pre-stroke. Um, but I don't even, I can't remember them at all. So I'm asking people, Hey, what was that about? Cause I honestly don't remember it. Um, I've had people I know, um, walk right by me. Like I'm not even there. Like you don't even exist. Um, and it hasn't been just like the one time. So they couldn't have not seen you and not realized it was you. Cause you haven't been in the building for six months. People I honestly know have walked right by me. Um, and didn't even acknowledge my presence. Like, you're not even there. Sadly, that, that's a thing. With stroke, I, I don't know. I don't know it's because I've been out of sight, out of mind for six months. Right? Is that the case? Like, is, is so you're just not used to seeing me around and, and you kind of had a moment of cognitive dissonance? Like, oh, that could be Mike. No, that's, that's not, no, he's on leave. No, I don't know. Is that a case of you're just nervous and you're scared? You don't know how to approach me? Like, you're not sure on what it is you need to say or not say, you know, like, or you're afraid you're going to hurt my brain. Well, my brain tried to kill me. There's nothing you can do to screw this up any more than it, than, than it already is. And is it a case you're just a horrible human, right? And, and you don't want to look at your own mortality because I'm a bit of a mirror of that. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, people I've, I've known, um... Uh, for a couple of years or so, people that I've worked with fairly closely, people that I thought were friends, literally just walk right by you. Don't even acknowledge your presence. You know, they just walk right by you. And, and it's like you're not even there. I don't get that. I don't. Um, but ultimately, to answer your question, yeah, work, work is going. I, I guess... It would be better to ask me once I'm completed a full month and I'm working four hours a day, you know, and, and move into five. Um, right now, I'm glad to be out of the house, right? I'll, I'll, be ha I'll be honest. I'm happy to be able to get out of the house. People ask me, are you excited to be back at work? I'm just going to say, no, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm, I'm ex excitement is not the, the word I would pick. Um, I, I have moments between ambivalence, I have moments to empty, moments of just sheer terror. Like, why did you even attempt this? Just, like, why? Like, this is the building you almost died in. Um, yeah, I know. No, no, I did almost die in the building. I had a stroke. Did you miss that part? Okay, moving on. So, and unfortunately, there are a few people at work that have very close experiences in their family and friends with stroke. So some of them get it. Uh, by far and large, people don't. Like, they just don't. Right? Um, I'm going to do a video. Oh, so you're better now. Yeah, better than what? Better than when? You know? We'll, we'll, we'll discuss that in another video. So, to answer your question, Joy, things are going. They're going, going fairly well. Um, I'm progressing 
I'll let you know once it's been a month, right? So I'll give you an update in you know, two and a half weeks as to uh, what's going on. And then we'll go forward from there and determine uh, what's the best thing to do insofar as the discussions we're going to have about that, right? But ultimately, that's sort of my return to work journey thus far. It's not so bad. It's 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 difficult, but it's it's where I need to be. It's where I want to be. Um, Got to prove I still have value. Got to prove I'm still useful. Got to prove I can still creatively and constructively contribute to the team. Got to prove I can do it, right? Um, anyways, I'm gonna go um, and head to the gym now. I've just got home from work. Thought I'd do this quick little video uh, about what my return to work journey has looked like thus far. Um, and I thought I would do that just because uh, Joy, you asked me, hey, how's it going? Hope the flu is getting better, Joy. I really do. Hope the flu is getting better. Um, I can only imagine what that would be like. Uh, and then there's a couple other my stroke folk out there that I know. One of you I know personally, Jamie. Um, I hope you're well. Um, I'm glad to hear you mentioned a while back that everything seems to be good neurologically going on with you. Um, and then uh, for any else of my stroke folk out there, um, I hope your days are going well. And I hope that you're you're trying to conquer the goals that you have, because ultimately, if you want to, you ultimately have two options: get busy living or get busy dying, right? And I'm I'm not choosing to live in fear, right? I'm I'm trying to get to my goals. I just don't know how long that'll take. But anyways, if you happen to have been enjoying the channel, uh, I've been watching the channel. Please definitely like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you happen to know someone that's going through their, their own journey of their stroke, please point the channel out to them. Uh, they might get some value out of this. Um, and if you happen to notice either in yourself or someone around you, the signs or symptoms of a stroke, uh, that being they, they, confu they appear um, confused or befuddled, right? They magically just like all of a sudden they just start to appear confused. They, they start to have um, vision problems. They can't see it in one eye. They can only see half the world. They see in gray. Things are blurry, right? Uh, they're, they've got facial droop, right? All of a sudden, one side of their face is drooping. They're unable to raise their arms equally effectively or at all. They're, they're unable to um, smile equally effectively or at all. They have slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate word usage for situation or, or context. Uh, they're unable to stand unaided, right? Uh, they're unable to maintain their own body weight. Please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.